but are we continually paying attention to the atmosphere that we generate so that things might thrive, so that the blessings continue to come, so that we are, in fact, inviting more and more life and more and more magic instead of what's going to happen next. I mean, many people live in this fear-based reality of, I hope this keeps going because I don't know where it's coming from and I don't know how to do it and I don't know um, how to keep doing it. I thought it was just because I was with these fine people. I, I know many times I've taught, and I, my biggest prayer was that the people know that they had that experience because they were there, not because I was teaching. You did it. You did it. You know you did. I can't control what's going on in your heart and mind. I can create a fertile field. I can bring incredible fertilizer. I can let the water fall. I can do, bring the warmth of my own heart. But if you're not participating, you're not going to have the experience. And if you're having the experience, what does that mean? You're participating. You're co-creating with me. You are understanding how this all works. How blessing and understanding is the beginning of the seed of a wonderful journey. And it happens every day. Every day you get to bring blessing and understanding. I have been told by some people that it can appear as a teacher like you're manipulating the circumstances, like making it just right for people to have this experience. They call that manipulating. I call it deliberating. Being deliberate about maintaining an atmosphere. Or, what's the other word I wrote down that's closer? Orchestrating. Very different than manipulating, because manipulating actually has something to do with for your own gain. But if you look at the word, can manipulating be done in a holy way, where you are paying attention to the factors and allowing the greatest thing to come from the factors that you're assisting to be in the place. Like, is it manipulating to make sure the dishes are clean when you serve your guests? Yeah, why bother? <laughs> no, it's orchestrating. It's being deliberate about the atmosphere that you're allowing some magic and wonder and, and just beauty to be born because you're there. Because you want that to be how your life is. You can be in the moment doing something deliberate that's going to change everybody's experience because you're there saying, yes, I will. Here I am. You better believe it. What else do you need? How else can I serve you? Don't you love being around people like that? How else can I serve you? Tomorrow in our full self-emergence class, we're stepping into taking action. I'd much rather take action after I know how to be blessing, offer blessing, and be in a place of understanding. Because otherwise, it ends up being destructive or unconscious. And we end up having a whole slew of things to take care of and apologize for if we're not paying attention. Understanding isn't only about what's the best thing to do here. Understanding is also about what does not belong here. What have I been bringing that I need to be looking at? And I certainly find, no matter how old I am, and hopefully I'll be a whole lot older before I stop learning this, that there are things that don't work anymore, or they didn't fit, and I never paid attention, and now I am paying attention, because I want to be, bring blessing and take action with blessing and understanding at my back. 